So I was born in Manila, and I grew up primarily in Bay Gusa, California after we immigrated from the Philippines. Uh, my dad's side of the family is from Manila, which is the capital of the Philippines. My mom's side of the family is part of uh, Batangas, which is more like one of the, um, the countrysides um, in the Philippines. My dad came to actually um, immigrate to the U.S. Actually, he just visited his brother. Um, and while he was here, he's like, whoa, this is really great. Um, and then we started to get the ball rolling in terms of getting all of us green cards. And then my sister, uh, myself, and my mom ended up joining him in the U.S. when I was pretty young. All of my family and all my friends always know that I'm like the biggest foodie. Um, so I definitely connect best with people who like to eat. Um, and I think that this goes to show um, how much food is kind of involved in the Filipino culture. So, um, that's something that I would definitely say I want to carry on in the future um, just because it's such like a big deal like every time we meet up um, as Filipinos it's always like to eat. I remember actually one of my birthday parties um, I didn't have a lot of Filipino friends so I invited a lot of my friends from like different cultures and they, they got to my house thinking it was gonna be like pizza and like soda but instead it was like a full-on like lechon or what we call like pretty much like a deep-fried pig kind of thing and they're like whoa this is crazy and we had like a feast and I'm like yeah this is how we party kind of thing so that's something that you know I definitely love about my culture and uh, would want to carry on. Growing up I was never the smartest kid in the room so I really wanted, I was really passionate about natural disaster relief. I think going back to the Philippines a couple of times and being pretty connected to my family there, um, I would always hear about, you know, the typhoons that would happen and the hurricanes and things like that. Um, and I got pretty passionate about that. I a program in Bakersfield and I, I did a lot of natural disaster relief with the American Red Cross. And then that's kind of how I shifted into medicine. But now that I'm in medicine, now I'm, now I'm kind of bringing out like a lot of things that I find um, that I'm passionate about in medicine, right? Like coming from an immigrant family, knowing the struggles of how immigrants kind of have to delineate how to um, navigate, you know, the cultural norms of the U.S., knowing how to kind of um, bypass, you know, or overcome the language barriers and the cultural barriers in a system that doesn't really um, help you that much. You know, it's a lot of just figuring th things out on your own. And so I think moving forward in medicine, that's something that I've tried to kind of harness and kind of hone into any, any of my patient interactions. I love the fact that, you know, part of being part of a, um, a medical, medical system like UCSF, seeing all the diversity. Um, I remember growing up, I was, I would say like one of the only Asian people in my high school. And then now I, my best friends are, are uh, you know, Pacific Islanders and, and, and um, Southeast Asians and things like that. That's something that kind of drives me, that inspires me. I literally was having conversations with some of my roommates saying like, wow, like we are actively the people who we never saw growing up and we're going to make a difference. Like we are the change and it's really exciting, really scary, but I like to imagine that, you know, um, younger Filipinos or younger um, Southeast Asians or, or Asians and Pacific Islanders are looking up to us saying like, if he can do it or if they can do it, you know, there's a path for me too. And that's a crazy feeling, but it's why we're here. I love the fact that we have this month dedicated to Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders. Um, and it's, it's so heartwarming to really learn more and dig deep in and be patriotic for, you know, my culture. Um, and also, the, even with like Asian American and Pacific Islander, like the umbrella term itself, it has so much diversity within it, right? Like if w there's, you know, Filipinos, there's Chinese, Japanese, there's Loatians, there's Thai, Cambodians, Mongolians, the list goes on and on. And each one has its own beautiful culture within it. And so not only do I love like the fact that this month is like celebrating my culture, but it's also kind of like comes to fruition and highlights the amazing things that go on um, or that are practiced in different cultures around me, just like a couple countries away. The thing that I'm most proud about being Filipino is how selfless and how caring Filipinos can be. I think that most Filipinos are caregivers in, in the sense that we are very caring individuals and we're very community oriented, right? Um, we go a little bit deeper into the relationships that we invest in. And I think we try to always show kindness towards everyone and respect. And I think that's something that, you know, is something that I'm proud of. And I feel like I take for granted a lot of the time. Um, but that's definitely one thing that will always allow me to kind of wave my Filipino flag.